We are live one more time, and we will record this, so you can play it back as many times as you'd like. Thanks for joining us. 1962 tops now, as we work our way through the box, we did the 52 through 58, 59, 60, just finished the 1961s in the last video, and now 1962 tops. So what we're doing is going through what we have found. Uh, these are all in stock boxes from an old card shop that shut down many, many years ago, been moving them around the country, and now we're going through uh, looking for any kind of value or anything that might be exciting or jump out at us. Uh, 1962 is a couple different types, uh, really dark, really light. Uh, don't know what the difference is. Could just be a different run. These are high series, the 400s, 4895. This is low series, number 165. Maybe it's this, the style that they did. You can see all the high series there have a different color. Some rookies we'll look at and then some uh, different insert type cards. Uh, some names you might remember, or may, names you've probably never heard of. Play the home game with us. As you see a card you like, you can always freeze frame, look it up, or you can make some notes. I'll try to be as clear in my conversation as possible so you can play along. Uh, but let's have some fun with some baseball cards here. Once again, sitting on the carpet in the living room. Uh, COVID time off, so it gives me a chance to go back through these things that I've collected years and years and years uh, with and a chance to share them with you. So we're not going to mention every name, but uh, something like this where there's a price tag on it. It's card number 14, Bill White. Had been marked $4 or four dollars for some reason. Uh, Sammy Drake, 162. Leo Posada, 168. Quite a few of those. Don Lee, 166. Jackie Brandt, 165. And then the high numbers. Uh, if they're high numbers, I'll give you the numbers because many times the high numbers have a higher value. Uh, 495. 439. Andre Rogers is 477. Don Elston, 446. Bobby Locke, 359. Ray Washburn, St. Louis, is number 19. So you can see the difference in the colors. Washburn says it's a rookie card. Here's the American League All-Stars, Chuck Schilling, number 467. Louis Arreo from the New York Yankees, 455. Uh, Yankee cards have a premium for whatever reason. Uh, Boston Red Sox, four, uh, number 512. That's a high number, Mike Fornellis. Chet Nichols, number 403. And then Frank Mazzone is 225 with a little darker. Phil Ortega, the Dodgers, number 69, says rookie card. Ken Hunt, John Anderson, 266. Ken McBride, number 268. Norm Sherbin, S-I-E-B-E-R-N, number 275. Sherm Lawler for the Chicago White Sox, number 514. One, two, three of those. Dave Wicksham got three of those at number 517. And here's a checklist that's marked. And in the 1961s, we found a couple that were unmarked. And they have currently about a book value of about $5 each unmarked. So not sure what the mark price is. This is a high series, number 516. And so based on that, uh, it does definitely take away the mint uh, untouched type status on it. But they are still pretty cool to look at, especially if you find one with Mickey Mantle or Hank Aaron on them, which I do not see on that. Stan Williams, card 515. So some high number series here. Uh, we'll jump in the middle of the box. We'll take a look. Uh, Vern Law, number 295. Lee May, card number 518. A couple of Lee Mays. Jack David, Jackie Davis, number 521. One, two, three of those. Rookie cards. Jesus McFarland, 229. Uh, Moffat, Gene Wooding, a couple of those. And those, again, one's a, one's a darker color and one's a lighter color. They're both card 125. Not sure if that means anything. Billy Pierce, number 260. Tim Harkness says rookie 404. And just because they're a rookie card, if they didn't really do much in the bigs, doesn't really give them any value. Whereas uh, some guys that played and had Hall of Fame careers might have uh, you know value of their seventh, eighth, tenth, and twelfth card. You never know. So here's uh, Milt Pappas, Dick Donovan, Bill Stafford, and Don Mossy with the ERA leaders. A couple of those. That was for the American League, National League. It's Kurt Simmons, Jim O'Toole, Mike McCormick, and Warren Spahn. So Warren Spahn, we're going to put card number 56 off to the side. St. Louis Cardinals card number 61 and Joe Adcock card number 265. Put that one over there as well. All right, finding a few things. This one, Tony Kubek, New York Yankees card 430. Uh, obviously, most favorite card of somebody. They played with it. It's scuffed up. Could have been in a spokes of a bike. Could have been part of a flip game. Uh, probably has no real value, but we'll see what it would have been worth. Uh, Joe Cuse, Andy Carey, card number 418, Jackie Davis again, uh, some repeat cards, Earl Francis, card 252, Del Crandall, 443, 
Ted Willis, 444, some more checklists. Jake Gibbs, New York Yankee rookie, 1962, card 281. Los Angeles Dodgers team cards, Mark $6, and probably due to Jackie Robinson on there. So card number 153, and we're going to put it off to the side. Is that Jackie Robinson on there? I don't want to jump the gun and say that's who it was, but let me put it off to the side. We'll take a look. Uh, Jack Spring, Marty Keogh, 258. George Altman. Here's a Detroit Tigers team card, six bucks. Phillies, Detroit Tigers again. Barry Latman, Mark 350 for card 145. Don't know why. Here we go. Midway Masters, Roy McMillan and Frank Bowling. Pete Burnside, card number 207. Lots of great 1962 cards here. Let's keep going. We threw them as fast as we can. Sam Maley, one, two, three of those. Leon Wagner, card 491. Bunch of those. Card 79. Milt Pappas again is 75. Uh, Howie Bedell, card number 76, says rookie card. Next one, Willie Davis, Los Angeles Dodgers, card 108. Set that off to the side. Dave Gusti, card 509, says it's a rookie card. Being a high number might be worth something. Al Jackson, the New York Mets, card 464. J.C. Martin, card 91. Tito Francona. This is Terry Francona's dad. Uh, Terry Francona also goes by Tito Francona now, the Cleveland Indians. Card 97, there's a couple of them. Uh, Terry Francona did play up in Alaska as well as coach uh, a couple of big name teams to some uh, big name uh, success there in the major leagues. Norm Boscoli and Javier, Willie Tasby, card 462. And I know there's a variety of this. I think it's one that has the W for Washington because uh, he's with the Cleveland Indians on here. And I think the other one doesn't have any, <coughs> excuse me, lettering on top. I think it was a traded card. We'll put that off to the side. Ted Savage, 104. Kurt Simmons again, 285. Charlie Smith, Ed Bailey, Robinson, Tom Morgan, Bobby Allenson. There's a lot of cards here. It's going to take a bit to get through them. We don't want to spend too much time. A lot of these names will be repeats. Uh, so if I just flip them through them, I hope they don't uh, – it's not something you want to see. There's another Joe Adcock. The Right Pitch with Bob Perky, Jim Turner, and Joe Jay. A couple of those. John Anderson, rookie, Don Detmer, 146, Wally Post, Mickey Vernon, card 152, uh, Johnny Klipstein, 151, Mac Jones, card 186, David Sullivan, some more checklists marked. Here's one that's, oh, it's lightly marked. It's the checklist number 192, and I've got two that are heavily marked and one lightly marked, and I don't see Mickey on there anywhere. All right. Mickey Mantle would be a prize for a checklist. Terry Fox, Malfinato, Lou Clinton, Bill Kunkel, 147. Harvey Haddix, card 67. A bunch of Russ Snyders, card 64. Ty Klein. Here's the Pride of the A's with Norm Seaburn, Hank Bauer, and Jerry Lumpe again. I've seen that a few times in different years. Perky, I guess they didn't trade him as much back then. 271, and you stay on a team for a little while. Joe Adcock, card, that's the checklist, marked up all over the place. Very, very into marking his checklists. Wes Covington, 157, quite a few of those. Here's McCormick, shows his stuff. Specialty card, number 319. Billy Pierce, Jim Davenport. All right, I'm guessing we're about 40% of the way through, so I appreciate you sticking it out. We'll get uh, quite a bit of this done here in this next couple runs. Dodgers team lift or team checklist. Hal Reniff, New York Yankees, card 139. The Tribe Hill trios with Latman, Stigman, and Perry. Got three of those. Gene Stevens. Cliff Cook, rookie card number 41. Jim King. Frank Torrey, card 303. Dick Farrell, Don Wirt, 299. Bob's Pupils, Burrow, Sheffling, and Jake Wood. Wally Moon, Moonshot, number 190. Royals, a Yankee. Russ Snyder, Ken Hunt, Checklist. 
Lots of the same guys over and over again. Here's O'Toole, Simmons, Spawn. Another one, Warren Spawn. Hank Bauer. Um, Jim Parasol. I think we did that one before. Number 90. Lenny Green. Roy Sievers, number 220. Zimmerman, Zani, Wirtz. Uh, San Francisco Giants. Cormac McCormick. All right, we're, um, we're more than halfway, probably 60%. Two more handfuls here. This, that's actually a pretty big handful. We'll do two, two plus some. Chicago White Sox team checklist. Joe McCain. Mike Hirschberger, number 341, rookie card. What else we got here? Baltimore Orioles mark $12. A couple of them. Wonder why. Cards 476. We'll take a look at that. Floyd Robinson says rookie star 454 on the front is the all-star rookie insignia. These are some new names that we haven't been through yet. Uh, Al Sherrill, Jim Brewer. We've seen him on the, uh, the done very well card, uh, like the leaders card. So we'll put Jim Brewer off to the side. Pride of the A's again. Al Seacott, 126, Danny Murphy, 119, Norm Bass, number 122. A lot of these we've seen. Joe Jay, there's a Dodgers checklist again. Gavin Port, Jay Hook, Pride of the A's again. Lee Thomas, number 154, Detroit Tigers, Swatsky, uh, number 106. Uh, put these back in here as we get close to the end. Jim O'Toole. Uh, Dodgers again, Chuck Schilling, All-Star, Sporting News, All-Star card, Milt Pappas, Millie Fox. Here we go. Whitey Ford, Jim Bunning, Carmelo Pesquel, and Juan Pizarro, Strikeout Leaders, 1961. So Hall of Famer Whitey Ford, we'll put that off to the side. Here's the winners, the new World Series champs. It looks like the Yankees won, which is unbelievable that the Yankees would win. And so on here, you're going to have... Who do you have on here? You got Maris and Mantle and Howard and Boyer and Gardner and Lopez. I'm going to set that one aside. That might be a very big card for us. Card 237. Very excited about that one. Frank Larry, Hector Lopez, Frank Thomas, New York Mets, not the current Frank Thomas on the TV commercials. Jesus McFarland again, 229. We saw that one. I'm very excited about that. Uh, Yankees card. I'll take a look at that. I may actually have to do that on eBay here. Here's a checklist unmarked. It's marked 775, card number 86. Uh, unmarked, which is nice. Has the Babe Ruth series on it. So the Babe Ruth's name is on there, which is really cool. We're going to set that one aside. It was marked 775. That's what it was back in 1990, 91, probably when I first got these. Uh, is that Claude Osteen, 501, Pumpsy Green, card 153, uh, Ozzy Virgil, we did that one, 327, Bell, Sam Jones, Pete Runnels, Tom Sturdivant, Gene Conley, almost done, there's a small handful left, let me grab that real quick before I drop everything. And this will be the final cards that we go through. And I appreciate you spending some time here on my living room carpet. So we'll go through some baseball cards. Paul Brown, 62 rookie card, 181. Gordon Cullen, Mac Jones. Uh, Jesus McFarlane, Chuck Schilling, card 354, 345. St. Louis, Hal Stowe, New York Yankees rookie, 291. John Roseboro, catcher for, the, for LA, all-star card. Chicago White Sox, Louis Aparicio, Hall of Famer, marked 850 for card number 469. That's an all-star card. We'll hold on to that. Here's another checklist with a $9 price tag on it. We may have hit the mother load here. So checklist number 441 and has Mickey Mantle all-star on it. And what else? Holy cow. We'll set that one aside. So 441 is worth $9 back in the 90s. Aparicio again. Lou Burdett, Jay Hook, uh, Elston Howard, number 400. Another checklist, card number one, Roger Maris. So that's 
not card number one, Roger Maris. He's listed there. It's card 22. So you can look that one up if you're following, playing the home game of what this stuff is worth. Terry Fox. Uh, if anyone's interested in all of these cards, I'll take an offer for everything at one time for all these several thousands of cards that we're going through in all these videos. I haven't sold any of them. I still have all of them. Here's the batting leaders with Elston Howard, Norm Cash, Jim Paracel, and Al Kaline. Got a couple of those. We're going to do that. Yanks win home opener. World Series. So, wow. Who's on there? Anybody we know? Some guy named Maris. I don't see Mantle in the lineup. Interesting. John Jay. Redbirds, Larry McDaniel, Larry Jackson. We're down to our last couple here. Jim O'Toole. And uh, while we got you on the on the video here, and I apologize, I'm going to take a few extra moments. I want to look this one up. It's card number 237, 1962 tops. I'm going to go to my eBay app, and I'm going to go over here where I've been looking up all the records. Not the baseball records, but the actual 45 records from one of our earlier videos. I'm going to type in 1962 tops, and I'm going to put in the card number 237. And I'm going to hit go. And here's an example for $7.49 or best offer. There's a pre-owned one. Here's an $8 one. There's a $10 one, $11 one. Uh, this one's certified PSA 8 for $49. Here's just a regular VG to X. Uh, this is certainly not a real high-end card. It's not bent. It's not creased. It has soft corners. Uh, wow. 25, 10, 27. Very excited about that card. Now I'm going to do a couple more here since we're here. You're welcome to jump out if you don't want to be here, but if you want to stick around, we'll do a couple more lookups. This is card 232. And oop, 232. And we're going to go with the Yanks win the home opener. It's about a six dollars and forty-five cents. There's one for two dollars, one for nine dollars, eight dollars, forty-nine dollars certified, two dollars opening bid, seven dollars. So that's kind of how you get the value of some of these cards is you look at what the uh, prices are online and get a general idea. What can you buy it for from someone else? And that's pretty much what uh, they're worth. Uh, it's whatever a buyer and seller will agree on. Here's the checklist. $325, $8, uh, excellent mint condition. It says there's an error, 1 to 88. Don't know why. Let's see what that means. If it has any explanation on that. Some of the research you can do online is because you take a look at it and interesting. I'm glad I set that one aside. We'll have to take a look at it. Anyway, that's our video for right now. Have fun looking it up. Uh, coming up soon, we have the 1963s. And then there's this pack here that just popped out. These are some Topps Archives basketball cards mixed in with all these old 1960s. So you never know what you're going to find here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Steve from Alaska. These cards started out in Alaska, and they're down here in Scottsdale, Arizona right now. I'm glad I can share these with you. Thanks for spending some time. This is one of the longest videos we've done. I uh, appreciate you sticking out. Please subscribe, and if you like it, please say so. If you have any questions, let me know.